and we are back what is up everyone welcome back to the stream it's me it's empty tenebris i'm back again to bring you some more mediocre pokemon play below me on the screen i have two links there is a red link that is to my youtube channel that is the md tenebris plays pokemon youtube channel if you like what you see today there is a whole back catalog of this kind of stuff so feel free to go check it out you can like you can subscribe if you click the bell it will let you know when there are new episodes available new videos the purple link is to my twitch that's where i am now i'm here every saturday at 2 p.m and every wednesday at 6 30 p.m eastern time so if you want to come and hang out join the chat you know, discuss deck building or Pokemon or anything in general, feel free to do that here. Uh, this is where I am. There is also a link to a Discord channel in the information box below. Uh, if you want to join that, you can get me offline. You can discuss anything Pokemon related or anything at all that you feel like talking about. So, that is, uh, those are the three. And feel free to find me there. And, um, yeah. So, today. Today, we're trying to work with this Kofagrigus... I can't, can never pronounce this name. I want to say Kafra, but it's Kafa. Kafa Grigus, like, um, Sarcophagus. Kafa Grigus, EX, right? So you got this ability, Gold Coffin. If this Pokemon is knocked out by damage from an attack from your opponent's Pokemon, search your deck for a card, put it into your hand, and then shuffle your deck. So, no big deal. We've got Jirachi that also does this kind of thing. However, the thing that we're looking at right now is the Hollow Hands. This move for two Psychic Energy, you can do 110 damage, and you put five damage counters on your opponent's bench Pokemon in any way you like, right? So the way I've got this deck set up, it's it's been all right it's been all right um it's a little tricky so we're gonna go in we're gonna look at what we've got in here we got the cofagrigus ex of course we also have actually it's smaller hang on let me go back we'll do it from here because it's bigger here hey what's up phase leader how are you doing welcome back to the stream my friend how was your uh how is your saturday going so so the deck right we're doing the uh cofagrigus ex there we go. I think my chair is broken, and I think it keeps sinking down, so I'm going to need you to measure this for me, all right? We got the Cosmog in here, right? Um, we're trying to uh, pair this with this Lunala, right? The, the Pokemon Go Lunala with the Lunar Pain. So double the number of damage counters on each of your opponent's Pokemon. So the idea is you get your Cofagrigus into play. You're doing uh, 110 damage. You're putting 50 damage counters on the opponent's bench Pokemon in any way you like. And then, you know, later on in the game, you swing in. You hit with the Lunala. You do double the damage counters. And uh, potentially, potentially, um, you come in and you use this Devolution technical machine, right? Devolve each of your opponent's Pokemon. Evolves Pokemon by putting the highest stage evolution card on it into your opponent's hand. So the idea is hopefully... You take the HP down enough with the devolution that the double, right, the double the Lunar Pain will be enough to take out the Pokemon. Um, we are also using the Zatu uh, Draw Engine in here with the Clairvoyant Sense. Once during your turn, you may attach a basic Psychic Energy from your hand to one of your bench Pokemon. If you attach an Energy to a Pokemon in this way, draw two cards, right? So we're going to be hopefully using this guy to draw through our deck, um, and we also have included in here... A Radiant Alakazam, once during your turn, you may move up to two damage counters from one of your opponent's Pokemon to another of their Pokemon. So this is basically to help us kind of like negotiate where to put the damage counters um, if we need to. And then we have Mind Ruler. This attack is 20 damage for each card in your opponent's hand, right? So this is kind of useful. If you're going up against like a Golden Go EX, you're going up against a Tinkaton EX deck, this uh, actually gets stronger and stronger with that. So for only two energy, that's not bad. Uh, what else we got in here? We got the Battle VIP Pass. We got some Counter Catcher in here. We got the Fog Crystal, Rare Candy. Uh, we got a Switch. We got some Bosses Orders. We got the Old Cemetery. Anything to kind of get the damage counters onto the Pokemon is kind of the key of this deck. We got some Jacques. Iono for draw. We got three Iono and two Professor's Research, so we should be moving through it with an Avery as well, so not bad. We do have this double Turbo Energy just for the Lunala. It's just like, uh, it helps a little bit, you know, it's a little bit of a help. So, doing all right. How about you? I am doing pretty good, to be honest. This is, uh, it's a nice sunny day. Uh, this deck is, uh, it kind of works. <laughs> <laughs> so we're gonna see i'm also working on a lost box version of this deck i figured pairing it with this sabli 
would be kind of nasty. Um, but I gotta, I gotta figure it out a little bit. So we are just doing the Kafagrigus EX standard one today. Um, with the Zatu draw and this Lunala in here. I did start with more Lunala and less Zatu and I swapped him out. Um, I might swap back. We'll see. We'll see. Um, might even actually take, hang on. Might actually get rid of one of these guys and one of these guys and replace the Lunala and the Cosmo here. And then, do I have a rare candy in here? I, I only have two. It's a little, it's a little nervous. I'm a little nervous about that. I don't want to get rid of any energy though. All right, so we're gonna take this deck out. We're gonna see how it goes. Game one, exciting, exciting times. I love the psychic type. Another option I was thinking of was the Curlia. Throw the Curlia draw engine in here instead. Um, but yeah, like, because of the 110 damage, it really does not hit very hard, um, this Cofagrigus. And it's worth two prize cards, so it's a little trickier. So I think if you really wanted to make this card, like, like really nice, you would have the 110 but you would also have the ability, wouldn't be you can go and just grab a card from your deck. The ability would be your opponent flips a coin, and if it's Tails, they take one less prize card. I think that would be... I think if you put the Frost Last ability onto the um, Kofa Grigus, it would be a much more balanced card. But we will see. We're going up against Mil Tank. I haven't seen this fucking Mil Tank for years. Prevent all damage done to this Pokemon by... Ah, fuck! It's literally... It might have been years. That's insane. All right, we're gonna go for a Natsu and a Cosmog here. Have the Lunala. We're gonna put a basic energy on the Yamask. Yeah we are not concerned about the ability. We do not have any Pokemon V in this deck. I probably should though, right? Fog Crystal. Do I go for an energy or I'm gonna save it and we're gonna see. We're gonna end the turn there. Um, Cause we can either go for a you can either go for an energy or a basic Pokemon, right? So the basic Pokemon, we've already got all the psychic basic Pokemon out, so we would just be another duplicate of this. While if we get the Fog Crystal and we draw a Zatu, then we could potentially apply the energy from the Fog Crystal to one of the Pokemon and get more cards in order to potentially grab like a Rare Candy or a Cofagrigus EX, and then we go and we uh, upload it. Hey, what is up, Charismatic Canine? Welcome to the stream. How is it going, my friend? I'm doing pretty good today. It's a nice, uh, it's a nice sunny Saturday, and we are playing Kafa Grigus. Um, we did not get the Zatu. I could go Jacques. Um, I could go Jacques and grab. I might go Jacques here and grab myself the Zatu and the Kafa Grigus just straight up, and then evolve this guy. Use the Fog Crystal to grab the energy for that. In fact, I could play Avery as well. Um, they're almost at the point where Avery would hurt, and it looks like Frigibax, if they're gonna be, hmm, no, maybe they're not gonna have Chimpao if it's a Quaxwell. Um, okay, so we're gonna go Fog Crystal here. I've already used my supporter card, actually, so we're gonna go Fog Crystal, attach this energy to the, the mill tank and take it out. Um, I could have risked, could have risked uh, putting it on and hoping I get one with the draw. But uh, that would have been a little scary. So we're going to go, um, hmm. I mean, they clearly want to attack with the Quaxley, um, who's going to have the higher HP at the end of the day. So we're going to start loading them on to the Quaxley like that. So we have 50 damage counters on this guy. We can take that guy out next turn um, if we manage to, uh, oh, I guess, I guess maybe they have a rare candy, though. That could be, that could be not good. How are you doing, K9? How's your day going? Yeah, do either have you either of you guys played with the uh, this Kafagrigus deck? I think my chair is fucking broken. Oh my god, this is gonna be this is gonna be upsetting. I'm gonna have to adjust everything as my computer gradually sinks away from me again. Pain in the ass. You've played against it. What were the cards? Did they have similar cards to uh, to this? I <laughs> can't say it did very well against me. Fair enough. Oh, fuck. That's scary as fuck. Okay. Um. Okay, so what do we have here? I guess we're going to go Avery. 
and see if we can draw shit okay um that's no good um he has seven cards i can get 140 damage out of this alakazam i guess that's where i want to go um i can attach another one here um and i could go ultra ball i could go for another uh i guess we'll go yamask yeah right um and start a new kafa grigus on the way i could go not to but that's i uh, yeah i would have two zatus then that'd be kind of nice um, do I want to move from one of your opponent's Pokemon to another? No, not really. Um, so I could retreat, but I guess I'm not going to. I'm going to go Hollow Hands um, for the 110. Probably not the best plan. And we're going to go, because I can't put him on there. Um, we're going to go for this target, this Frigibax here. Sheet. Didn't see the Lunala, you don't think? Oh my gosh. That's the first card I thought of when I saw the damage counters to the bench. I was like, shit. So, like, in one turn, you could up that to 100 and then to 200 damage, which I thought was kind of sneaky. I played against one today at League. It was Kafagrigus and a Hisuian Typhlosion V Star. Nasty combo, but luckily. I was playing Hisuian Samurai, so I was clocking them for weakness. Very nice. Dope. I like to hear that. I had Jirachi prepared, but the only thing protecting me from was the Alakazam, I think. Yeah, Jirachi does not protect you from this, because this is not a basic Pokemon. Um, choose a benched Pokemon to switch with the active Pokemon. We're going to go like that. Okay. Um, what do we get? Yeah, um... Jirachi does not protect you from Kafa Grigus. I did not know that um, either. I had to find that out. So I guess we put it on here. Ah, okay. So we're going to go Fog Crystal. I'm going to go Natu onto the bench. So we can evolve the Zatu. Maybe not. Maybe I go Energy onto the Yamask yeah here and we look for. Well, then I cap myself. Oh, no, I don't... I didn't, 60 is going to be enough to take out the Quaxley. So we're going to Iono again. Get rid of this hand. We're going to see. It just didn't do enough damage to me against Charizard. Oh. oh, fuck. We got the rare candy, but we lost the other ones that we wanted. Shice. That's no fun. Um, I guess we'll grab another bench Pokemon. Do we go Cosmog? Or Yamask? Yeah, I guess we'll go Cosmog here. Um, I want to check out what the Hisuian Typhlosion is now, because that sounds dirty. Um, that sounds pretty dope. I, uh, yeah, I've got a Lost Box version of this deck that I'm working on, but, um, yeah, I found this one with the Lunala is kind of nice. Um, because you can use the Lunala, right? Like, 160 is not a lot of damage, but 160 times 2 is 320. Like, I can knock out this, this Quaquavo. If I can find a Lunala next turn to evolve this Cosmog with the Rare Candy. Um, I don't have the energy attached to it, but the Zatsu can help with that, so. Going for the Jacques. Okay, I don't have the Devolution thing right now, but if I did, actually, I could take out... I could take out the Quaquavel, no problem. Oh, he's only doing 60, and then he's running. Um... Do we go for the Yamask? Maybe we go for the Yamask. That seems like a bad idea. Seems like a bad idea. Typhlosion V-Star's attack is one psychic energy and immediately knocks out your opponent's Pokemon if it has exactly four damage counters on it. Ooh. That's kind of dirty. Um, so we're going to go Zatu. We're going to put one onto a Cosmog here. We're going to go for this guy because he's been there longer. Boss's orders, Old Cemetery. Okay, so we'll go Old Cemetery. Um, I can switch out for Alakazam, um, but he's only going to be doing 40 damage, right? Yeah, 40 damage, which isn't going to take anyone out. It could take out the Arctibax, actually. Um, but I kind of would prefer to switch and then Iono and see if I can't find something else. Um, I guess we'll go Alakazam here. Um, maybe we go Fog Crystal, grab an energy, 
right? And use the Z oh, I used the Zatu already. Fuck, I should have seen that. All right, we are going to Iono. Damn. Typhlosion. All right. Um, hmm. Ooh, Ultra Ball. We could go for the Lunala now. Um. Hmm. Okay, we go one, two. And we can grab the Lunala. Okay, okay. And then we can evolve this fuck. Bang. And then we're going to use the Mind Breaker. And we're all good. We are all good to go. I'm very happy with this. Oh, yeah, there's a couple of there's a couple of different ideas you could have for this. I mean, I, I it then got me thinking about how to just do damage to the opponent's bench um, and uh, use the Lunala again. You could probably have a Hisuian Braviary in here um, to some extent. But you need to be able to use the Kafagrigus move more than once. So the low HP kind of makes it a little tricky. And they killed themselves trying to retreat. I love it. Thank you very much. Give me a prize card. I appreciate that. Oh, that must have hurt. That must have hurt quite a lot. That's funny, though. And it's still not enough to take me out. Holy. Holy. All right. Um, we'll go Lunala here. This is going to be fantastic. And that's the game. Like, that's, that's the game. I got the energy right here. We'll go energy. And we'll just go Lunar Pain. Do I need to do anything to, to... No, we're all good. All right, Lunar Pain. Bang. Game one in the bag. Look at that. Oh, man. Yeah, the Lunala really helps you get that Kafagrigus, uh damage up. Because the Kafagrigus is not... Not do a ton of damage on its own. Um, pen, pen, pen. Pen, 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 pen. Going against Sergio PLX with the water type deck. So, high, highly probable it's going to be a Chen Pao, Backscalibur style thing, but we're going to see. There are plenty of water Pokemon. Could be a Garchomp EX. Oh, that's fucking scary. Boom, 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 I feel like um, this deck works really well into... I should have played Radiant Alakazam there. That was my bad. But we have a switch. So maybe we will still play Radiant Alakazam there. Um, yeah, I feel like this deck... I feel like Kafagrigus wants to have like... 280, 290 HP. And um, have like... 140 damage. I think that's what he really wants. To make this like a viable deck on its own. Um... But it's a sneaky, sneaky fucking card to have inside of your deck. Um, we got the battle VIP pass for the draw. We love to see it. Okay. Not too cosmic. And we have a rare candy here ready to go. I think we are going to go um, Alakazam here. I think that's the plan. And we're going to end the turn there. Uh, we're gonna hope they don't have an Iono, and then we can go Rare Candy on the Cosmog, switch the Alakazam in, attach the final energy to it, and take out this Horsey. No problem. Um, but we're gonna see. And maybe they draw some cards. Maybe they draw some cards. With the Radiant Greninja. That could be pretty nice. If they draw two cards, trade one for two. Boom. Bada boom. Boom. So we're only doing 80 damage right now with the Radiant Alakazam. Still enough to take out Horsey. 70 damage now. Oh, no, it's got to have Water Energy attached. So still 80. So we can still take it out. No problem. Um, Nest Ball, who we got here? Now we're only doing 40. So we got to be concerned. Because if they get rid of another card, we do not have a knockout on the Horsey. And they got rid of another card. So they're going for the Hisuian Heavy Ball. Which allows him to get, what, a basic Pokemon? Yeah. Fuck. Okay, so we don't have a knockout on the horsey yet. They're gonna put that onto their bench. That's gonna be my guess. Because if they don't, that would be very silly. There you go. Yeah. 
So this is going to be a Swim Freely deck by the looks of it. Very interesting. Bum, 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 bum. So now I don't know what to do, because I'm not going to have the one-hit knockout with the Radiant Alakazam to get the prize card to get the 40 damage that I wanted with the Radiant Alakazam. We do have a Zatu, though. Um, I think I'm still going to attach the basic energy to the Alakazam. Uh, we have another Natsu here. We have a rare candy. We're going to go for this Cosmog now. Hmm. He's only doing 20 damage. Um... I think, mm, do we risk losing the Alakazam or do we leave the MS there one more turn? I think we're just going to switch in and we're going to hit for 20. I think it's, I think that's pretty dumb actually. I think I'm an idiot. Oh, that might not be the right play. I regret that immediately. I may have lost the whole game on that, that singular move right there. Fuck me. And the horsey has no retreat cost. That's not great for us. So they can go use rule the region, grab a stadium card. Um, we're gonna see what happens here. And we're not even doing any damage right now because they're only got they got twenty. Actually, no. Now we're doing twenty damage because they got another stadium. Um, very bad, very bad for us. <sighs> We're gonna attach this to Yamask and hope, 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 hope we get something good. Ooh, we did get something good. Um, hmm. Okay, so we're gonna go Fog Crystal here, grab an energy to attach to Yamask. Hope that next turn we get something not too bad that we can, um, um, and yeah, we're going to hit this guy for 20 damage. So hopefully we get uh, a card that we don't mind discarding. We can use the Ultra Ball next turn to grab ourselves a Kafka Grigus in case they do get the Hydra Break. Um, they just got rid of the Kingdra. Interesting. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. And it's the Deep Sea King ability one as well. Hmm. Okay, so, I mean, we could potentially use the Devolution Ray, but it's not going to do enough. Um, at all, so we're going to have to get rid of that card for the Ultra Ball. Um, we're only going to do 80 damage as well because Lake Acuity is in play. Um, so that sucks for us. So we're going to have 100 damage on this Palkia. And uh, even if we got Lunala in after that, uh, we would still be totally fucked. So we're going to play the Yamask here. Um, and we're going to see what we get. It's not an energy. I would prefer to use the Iono and hopefully find the Kafagriga, so we might have just fucked ourselves pretty badly there. We found the Kafagriga. We got a Yamask. We got another energy. So we can use the Zatsu here to apply this energy to... Um, do we go Lunala? No, I think we go Yamask here. Um, we get rid of Lake Acuity. Fantastic. Um... And I think that's it. We're going to go hollow hands here. And we're going to take out this horsey. We're going to go 20 here. And we're going to go 20 here and 10 here. Because the Manaphy can't stop the damage counters. Fantastic. So we get a prize card back just for that. We get an earthen vessel. Fantastic. That we just put in here. I love that. 
and uh, yeah, 130 times 2 is 260, so that's still not enough with the Lunala, but that's okay. We are going to have another Kafagrigus in play. Next turn is the Hope. Um, so I guess we would go Kafagrigus onto the Yamask, yeah, Iono the Hand, grab a new 5 cards, hopefully there's an energy, use the Zatu to apply another energy to the Yamask. Yeah, this guy should still be in play, I believe. Wait, 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 20, 40, 60, 80... So it's 180 plus 60, so 240. So we might still be okay. Um, might, 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 might still be okay. And now they're putting damage counters on themselves with the old cemetery in play, which is great for us. We survived. We survived it. That's exactly what we needed. It's exactly what we fucking needed right there. Um, and we could not use the counter catcher. Never mind. So we go Kafagrigus. Um... Hmm. Now I could go Jacques and grab another Zatu and then use the draw from the Earthen Vessel. I think that's the plan. So we go Zatu and I guess another Kafagrigus, right? Like, why not? We go Zatu here. We go Earthen Vessel, the Ultra Ball. Grab ourselves two energies here. So now, actually, this guy's going to hit this guy. We're going to take out this... Finian and put another 50 damage on here. I think we want to put these on the Lunala. I think we're getting close to the Lunala point at this point in time. We get two more cards there. We have another old cemetery in case they find a stadium. We're going to put this onto the Lunala as well. What do we get? Another Yamask. We get the Devolution as well, um, which is very convenient for us. That definitely allows us to um, remove this Palkia if we wanted to in that way. And I think we're just going to hit 110, 130 is, um, oh, we can retreat, actually. 110 and 130 is not going to be enough um, to take him out. Hmm. Do we retreat into this guy? He's got the one-hit KO anyways because we played the Yamask. Yeah so I'm going to leave the Kafagrigus here. Um. Get ourselves another prize card. There we go. And then I think we go... Um... Hmm. No, I'm gonna go for this guy instead. That guy can get taken out now by the Lunala. We get another prize card here. Fantastic. And it's a Zatu. Okay, so not what we needed, but that's all right. Oh, man. This chair dropping down is frustrating as fuck right now. It's so, so annoying. Okay, so we got 40 damage on that guy now, which is fantastic. I'm expecting them to try and, and retreat the Origin 4 Palkia out, but okay, maybe not. And they, we took out the Finny, and I should have considered that. Fuck. Um, all right, what do we want? Um, I think we just want an energy, right? Even an Avery. Are we going to use the Iono right now? We could use an Avery. We could, we could discard one of their cards. That'd be kind of annoying. Okay. Um, we're gonna go Kafagrigus here. We didn't get any energy, so um, I don't want to let him discard the horsey, though. That's the problem. Hmm. Hmm. I could use the countercatcher and attack the um, Origin Form Palkia here. That needs 40, that needs 30. Hmm. No, I'm kind of happy with my hand. I'm going to go 110 here. Onto the origin form Palkia. We're going to put um, 40 onto the V-Star. 
Um, and that can be doubled to take it out. So we can actually go for the Manaphy here, I guess. Um, sure. We'll go Manaphy here. One, two. Very nice. Be careful with Avery. You're giving them the chance to take prizes off the board. Yeah, no, I know. That's why I, I didn't play the Avery, because I didn't want them to take the horsey um, and get rid of the damage counters that I had on it already. Um, I think we're in a great spot, because I can hit this uh, Origin Form Palkia no problem. Uh, double it. I've got boss's orders as well, so what we can actually do is... Um, how much does it need? It needs 50? It needs exactly 50, huh? Oh, they're going to take out my Lunala... That's annoying. That's not a big deal, though, because I only need two prize cards. Like, that was um, not the correct decision, I don't think, for them. But that's okay. That is okay. Okay, so they take out the Lunala. We don't get to use the Dublin, but that is all right, because we got the two prize cards right here in front of us. So we're just going to take it out with the Kafa Grigus. No problemo. We're going to take out this Horsey as well. And that's game. Bang. Twenty. Thirty. I don't know why it breaks in it too there. That's annoying as hell. Cuckoo. So I actually get to take three prize cards. GG. Not a bad game. So we are 3-2 and two on the day. Very happy with that. Nice, pleasant surprise. I wasn't expecting tons. This is not the heaviest hitting deck. But uh, it's not doing too bad. It's not doing too bad as of now. So we're very happy with this. There's a couple of snipe, snipe decks you could build with that. Yeah, so if you can hit the full 6 energy, that's 360 damage snipe. And that's insane. That is insane. That is insane. Deck for next stream, maybe? Maybe. I think I am done. I haven't done Frost Last EX yet. So I haven't done all, I haven't done Roaring Moon EX yet. Um, but I I'm never was like the main cards kind of kind of deck builder. I was always like a weird offshoot single prize card deck kind of lover. So alright, we got a uh, two Ascension one coming in here with the fire deck. Looks like it could be a Dark Charizard from the, uh, from the guest, from the mulligan. But we'll, get, we'll see, we'll see. Yeah, I kind of like the, uh, I kind of like the sneakier decks. Um, United Wings was pretty fun, actually. I enjoyed the United Wings deck. Um, Alakazami X is super fun as well because you're, you're sniping from the bench, which is so crazy. You get the Mimikyu into play. I had a Mr. Mime in that deck, so it was just like, um... If you can match the energies from Mr. Mime and your opponent's active Pokemon, you can't do any damage to him, and it's just, like, so good. Um, all right, we got Battle VIP Pass. What do we want? Cosmog, Natsu. Get him in. We're going to have a Zatu next turn. Fantastic. I have an Iono. Don't really want to use that right now. Um, I think we're going to end the turn there. I'm not seeing any energies in place, so I'm feeling a little safe right now. So, potentially what we would want to do is get another card from the pie or from the deck and Ultra Ball for the Lunala and evolve the Lunala and the Zatu and then Iono the hand and hopefully find a Kafogrigus and an energy. That might be perfect. I used to play Mad Party because basically the Sword and Shield version of United Wings, which is so much fun. I hated playing against Mad Party. Um, I really hated it playing against Mad Party. That was so frustrating. Um, I actually don't think I ever put a Mad Party deck together. I, like, I avoided doing mainstream decks. I avoided doing the, the decks that everyone else was doing. I tried to find, like, cards that I thought were kind of cool and kind of interesting and playing those. Um, but yeah, like... The YouTube videos, people love these like big EX card decks and stuff, so that's kind of where I where I started moving towards. But um Yeah, that Kingdra deck might be nasty. I might have to put that together. She I might put that together after the stream today, because I uh, I'm not doing anything today, so I might not have to finish it for. I might finish this, do the outro, and then uh and then maybe I'll throw that Kingdra deck together. Holy fuck, that might be 
I love those kind of decks. And there's so many good water Pokemon for that deck as well. Like, that's so insane. Um, do I get rid of the double turbo, though? That's the question. I'm not going to use both of these. So I'm going to get rid of... Iono. And counter catcher. This might be a terrible idea. Um, what did I want? Lunala for the rare candy. So we go like this. Oh, no, because then I can't... Yeah, we're going to have to go like that. Fuck. All right. Um, rare candy, Lunala. So I will not be able to attach an energy with the Zatu this turn. Um, we'll go Kafagrigus here. Maybe I can, but then I would have to cycle someone in that's vulnerable. Um... Let me see here. Um, ba -ba 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 -ba. I could actually apply the basic energy to Lunala and take out the Growlithe. Ooh, and we got the Earthen Vessel for next turn. That's nasty. All right, we're going to switch in this Lunala here. Just doing the 110 damage. Um, I can go for Zatu. I'm just going to hit right now. 110. Bang, get the energy off of the uh off of the thing here and i guess we'll go for the shark deck because that'll be easy to take out and it does 20 less damage because of the double turbo that's so interesting okay i didn't know that nice so we'll play the natu i guess we use the fog crystal on a yamask um we can evolve the kofagrigus we can apply the energy next turn and we could just retreat um the lunala to the bench to save it for later with this Growlithe here in play. Um, and then we'll get three... We'll get two prize cards. Because we'll take out the Growlithe. And then we'll take out this... Oh, nope. We're not going to take out the Growlithe. Fuck. And if I put damage counters on it, it's going to have 110... It's going to have 110 damage counters on it. Um... Hmm... 110 plus 30. It's still not going to be a knockout. Even the 250 is not going to be a knockout, which is kind of nice. Um, I'm expecting... Do they have an armor rogue? Are they going to be able to ship these these energies forward? Is my question. What's going on? What are you doing? What are you doing to Ascension 1? Oh, here comes the boss's orders. What's it for? The Zatu... Well, that was a bad decision. All right, we got Natsu here. Um, we're going to apply an energy to our Kafa Grigus. Um, we're going to apply one to our Zatsu so we can retreat him. Um, we're going to go Fog Crystal for a Yamask. Is that, or do we want to go? No, we have an Earthen Vessel. Perfect. So we are going to go for the Yamask. Yes, 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 we are. We're going to go Yamask here. Um, boss's orders for the Zatu. I don't think I want to do that just yet. Um, we're going to retreat this guy now. Kafagrigus coming in. Maybe I do, Jacques, for the Zatu here. Um, because we're going to have the Professor's Research next turn. So I'm going to be able to evolve both of those guys next turn. Earthen Vessel. So we're going to go 110 here. And we're going to take out this Sharkadet in case they do have the Armor Rogue. Because now, um, that energy's gone. So they can't evolve... The, the fear was that they're going to evolve that arm into an armor rogue and then use the armor rogue ability to put the, the energy onto the Arcanine EX and have enough to do a lot more damage. So fortunately now, that energy is in the discard pile, so we should be okay. Oh yeah, double turbo reduces bench damage too. It doesn't just specify to the active. Yeah, no, I didn't realize that. Um, totally caught me off guard. But it's good to know. Good to know. I know they have another Charcadet, but they don't have an energy on that Charcadet. Right? 
Because I could have I could have knocked that guy out. So the question was, can they add two energies or one energy this turn? Basically, um, was what I was trying to deal with. Um, so they had to attach one by hand, and then if they had the armor rogue, they could move. They could have moved both up, if they used the magma basin again this turn, which they did. So that was just what I was dealing with. Yep. Okay, we got Nest Ball coming out as well. And interestingly enough, this... Um, I think this is not influenced by the damage counters. Um, so I could potentially cycle the Arcanine EX to the bench and still be doing 50 damage a turn. Um, but we're going to see... Okay, Growlithe coming in. Radiant Heat Rand coming in. Okay. 160. And with the Magma Basin, that's not too hard to set up. Um, yeah, and you would have 20, 40, 60. Six damage counters times by seven is what? Um, fuck. It's like 420. Well, if they don't, the character, the shark edits are pretty easy pickings. Yeah, they are. Um, oh, and he's moving him in like that. Okay. Interesting decision. So, having another 50 damage on this guy will allow me to take him out. That won't be a problem. Um, we're going to go Zatsu here. Um, we're going to attach an energy. Like this. We're gonna play the Cosmog here. And actually, I could take this guy out for a single prize card if I wanted to. Um, with the Devolution Machine. Um, but that's not so great. I think I prefer... We're gonna go Earthen Vessel here, get rid of one of these machines anyways. Two energies, we can use the Zatu again. Draw another two cards. One out of the Kafa Grigus. What do we get? A Natu and a Fog Crystal. Okay, we're going to attach one of these to Cosmog. Um, and we're going to go Kafa Grigus here. We're going to go... So I can now two-hit KO that guy. Um... And that guy. If I get the Lunala into the starting position now, all three of those Pokemon are dead. So I would get two, three, four prize cards. So that should be game. If I if I want to retreat this guy, that should be that should be game, but we'll see. I might be I might be mistaken. That's GG on the save all the Shark Cadets. Well, no, because I'm still going for Lunala, you know. I'm still going to use the Lunala anyways. Oh, I get it, because then I won't be able to take him out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that makes sense. Hmm. But if they evolve the Shark Cadets, I'll just attack one more time, and I'll take this guy out. And I'll put 50 damage onto, you know, one of the Shark Cadets, and then I can swing in with the Lunala next turn. So, I'm feeling pretty good. Feeling pretty good against this deck right now. I think we're in a good spot. And we got a professor's research so we could shake the whole thing up if we need to, which is kind of nice. Um, and I could devolve them as well. I could use the devolution machine. Switching Pokemon. Okay. Interesting. Interesting decision. Okay. I mean, I wouldn't mind a boss's orders. That'd be kind of nice. Um... But that should be game. Yeah, yeah, I'll just retreat. Yeah, the Lunala is, is I think it really, really is critical. Because you only have 110 damage coming out of Hollow Hands. So I think the Lunala really, really fucking helps. Kafa's retreat is two. Two energy. So you can just, yeah, retreat for the same cost it uses Hollow Hands for. Um, Okay, and let's try it out. Let's see if the Lunala is going to take out this uh, Arcanine EX. Hmm. 
Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Holy. There you go. So if you love taking a bunch of prize cards at the same time, Lunala Kofagrigus, baby. This shit is insane. One, two, three, four. Bang. So good. Such such a fun deck. It really, I'm, like, I. so I guess the thing I really needed was just to lean more into the Lunala. Like, I think that's what I needed. So, that is going to be it from me today. I hope everyone that came along for the stream had a good time. I had a very good time. This is a very fun deck. This is a very sneaky card. And when you pair it with the Lunala, it actually does do damage. But, yes, I definitely recommend doing this. If you throw your own version together, write a comment and let me know how it goes. I'd be very curious to hear about it. Um, so, below me on the screen, there are two links. There is a red link that is to the YouTube channel that I have. That is the MD to Never's Place Pokemon YouTube channel. If you like what you saw today, feel free to go and check it out. There is a whole back catalog there. You can like, you can subscribe. If you click the bell, it will let you know when there are new videos available. The purple link is to my Twitch. That's where I am right now. I'm here every Saturday at 2 p.m. and every Wednesday at 6.30 p.m. That's Eastern Time. So if you want to come, join the chat with any of these fine people and uh, hang out and discuss Pokemon, feel free to do it there. It's all good. We also have in the information box a link to a Discord channel. If you want to get me offline, discuss any of the things um, that I've done on stream, discuss deck building, discuss Pokemon in general, you can do that there. So feel free to join the Discord if you would like. So... Um, I would like to thank everyone that came along for the stream today. And uh, I would like to thank you at home, the viewer. If you're watching this on YouTube, thank you very much. I appreciate the support. Feel free to drop a like and leave a comment and let me know if there's anything you would like to see on the channel. So, uh, wherever you are in the world, I hope you have a wonderful rest of your Saturday. Hope you get a very, very good night's sleep tonight. Very well rested night's sleep tonight. And you wake up tomorrow healthy and happy and hungry for the day and you have a fantastic rest of your weekend that's going to be it from me today this is md tenebris i'm signing off so take it easy peace out and adios have a good one thanks